Mr. Stephen Brown. Um, I wrote this poem on New Year's Day at four o'clock in the morning till seven. Then I walked round Piccadilly and looked at all the beggars on New Year's Day. And then I came home and finished it. So it was a message of hope inspired by the beggars, funnily enough. Long before I was, it's called Year of the Mat, it's about doormats in its way. <laughs> Year of the Mat. Long before I split, my ex rescued a cat. To soften the blow, she gifted me a mat. Months later, she left me, my head popped and went west. Word reached my trick cyclist, forcing a holiday from my nest. A pal fed the cat and a flat was installed. I couldn't return for months, so my cat lost its roar. Release one snowy day, I returned for Christmas magic. On my mat, a box with notes saying, died waiting, very tragic. Couple of years on, I moved to a Didsbury flat. My memories nearly healed of that loyal, loving cat. I bought a green and gold door white that nearly said welcome, deciding that whoever visits, I'll try and always help them. At first, this arrangement worked and held me in good stead until I began inviting dealers, shoplifters and the odd crackhead. <laughs> Meanwhile, my mat seemed covered with bits of foil, probably next doors, but I won't snitch to housing, I'm loyal. <laughs> However, my sanity fell prey to the goings-on in me yard. Then my thug of a stepson heard psychologically I dropped my guard. On the mat he carved out the letter L, leaving we come instead. I arrived home to see it and feared I'd be dead. He had, I pushed the door open with my heart beating fast. He attacked me without warning and I let out a gasp. My welcoming idea had truly backfired. I was wounded and para, my situation was dire. I lost that map briefly. One neighbour threw it in the skip. A protest that noise made when I was unable to kick. I rescued it though and glued the L back in place so I wouldn't have the flashback of my son's angry face. Winter dug in, a girl moved on my landing. She placed home sweet home opposite where I was standing. I had suspicions for months she was cleaning my mat. So finally I decided to clean up my act. I gave up drugs, bad company and living the extremes. I was trying to arrest the horrors and replace them with my dreams. Then as Christmas approached, my dear niece sadly died. I sat contemplating my year and I cried and I cried. To cheer myself up, I ordered a map for New Year, a bespoke one bearing a message for a world I hold dear. Simple to read, it would look perfect to me if it was laid outside that house in Washington, D.C. I won't keep you in suspense regarding what it will say, just a hopeful little message expressing love will save the day. Thank you.